So this week I'm going to show you how to make really easy and delicious corn, zucchini, pancakes, fritters, whatever you want to call them. My segment is turning to be more and more about pantry cooking and freezer cooking. But since everybody's on the same boat, I'm hoping that this will help you. I'm using uh, frozen corn today and I've got this one from Trader Joe that's organic frozen corn. I like using uh, organic when it comes to corn because otherwise it can be GMO and I don't really, really like that. Uh, so using frozen corn and I'm using zucchini because it's what I have. <laughs> Usually I would like to make it with chickpea flowers but I don't have any more chickpea flowers so I'm going to do this one which is an acorn all-purpose flour. Any kind of flour you have at hand works great. And all you need right now is your veggies, obviously, a food processor, and then your frying pan. So I have two cups of frozen corn here that I've just rinsed under uh, water, so it's uh, thawed in at room temperature. I'm putting in the food processor. I have two little yellow squash. I'm just going to be removing the ends and then just chop them finely, roughly like that. I have one green zucchini and I'll do the same, just chop it roughly, just in big pieces like that. And I'm just gonna turn this on for a couple of seconds until it's kind of like all shredded and in small pieces and I'll show you. That's easy enough, right? So, I'm gonna add to that um, one green onion, just, you know, adding flavor. Again, if you don't have green onion, um, I would say maybe um, shallots would be great, or even onion powder or garlic powder, whatever you have at hand. There you go. And then to bind this together, I'm gonna add one egg, and then a couple of spoons of flour. I would say two, three tablespoons. I'll see the consistency and then I'll show you. And if it's good, then okay, yeah, I'll have to see if we need more or not. And I, since I wanted to use chickpea flour, but I don't have it, I'm gonna use some uh, breast of hummus that I have at hand, just for extra um, protein and also it will help bind it all together. And go again, pulse it. And it's exactly how I want it. It's kind of creamy, but not too runny because you need it to cook together without breaking apart. So I'm gonna remove my blade. And then what I'm going to do is I reserved earlier one cup of corn and I'm going to put in there. It's just for extra texture. And then meanwhile, I'm going to heat up my pan behind me. Just let go scrape the bottom. And you know what? It's a little bit wet, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of more flour. There go. Give this a couple of seconds to heat up and then I'll spray it with avocado oil. And then using my ice cream scooper, um, I'm just gonna scoop the pancakes batter in my pan and cook it for two, three minutes on each side. And I'll show you as I go along. And since you don't want to flip them back and forth too many times, I would really give it like a good two minutes using the timer on this side and then flip them. So it's been two minutes, so I'm gonna quickly flip them and give them another two minutes on the other side. 
just make sure they're not too high like maybe cook them on medium high even medium so you don't burn them oh hey Sandy So I have my first batch ready here. I'm just going to plate them and show you. And I ended up cooking them um, a little bit longer, maybe three and a half minutes on each side. There you go. You see how easy that was? And like I said, I use these corn and zucchini because it's what I have in my fridge but you can feel free to just mix it up a little bit. I'll put some ideas in the, in the descriptions if you want to improvise. They freeze well, um, they could stay in the fridge also for a week or so, and usually my kids love this kind of stuff. So I hope it helps, I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Bye guys!